Tis the season to learn. In this tutorial, I will show you how to become Mother Nature and control the seasons and wind within Megascan trees. You can find Megascan trees on Epic Games Marketplace, and the best thing about them is they're free, which is great. And if you are in the latest version of Unreal Engine like me, you will still be able to add them to your project, even if you don't see it here. Just click on this Show All Projects button, click the project you want to add them to, and then under Select Version, click the latest one that but that isn't yours <laughs> and then go ahead and add to your project and then it will download and once you have it downloaded i have created this scene of trees so i can show you how to control the seasons and wind so i'm going to start off go to your content folder and type in global you'll find this bp global foliage actor here and you might as well just rename this guy mother nature should i say woman because it is that powerful of a gadget. Now, let's get started and play with it. With this wind noise, this kind of controls the drag or the length of the leaves. So if I make this 100, we're getting something pretty wild. Negative 100, we get the opposite. I'm just gonna make it eight. <laughs> and then with strength is how strong the wind is. So if I make this 100, we're getting some really powerful gusts here. And wind speed is how fast the wind is going, so I'll make this 100. It's happening a lot faster. If I turn down the strength, let's say 2, we still see the speed of the wind, which is way too much. <laughs> so I'm going to make this 1. And then I'm also going to make, or let's show the wind tiling now. And if I make this 100, basically let me zoom in to show this one. With a higher value on the wind tiling, basically the more amount of gusts of wind there are together, where if I were to make this one, you'd be getting more of like a singular gust come through, so it would be a lot smoother and it would affect more leaves. Whereas if you put this larger, you're getting a more random and chaotic effect. And now, Let's go ahead and make these values subtle so I can sh go ahead and show you the seasons. So I'm going to adjust the season strength with this button right here. And now we can start to see the magic of the seasons taking place and the brightness so I can make them brighter and I can saturate them more as well. Here we have some orangey. Let's turn down the brightness just a little bit. And the health. This kind of makes them weak and not weak. So they're very healthy and then they get browner. So if I decrease the saturation, the more unhealthier they are. So I'm just gonna leave them at 10. I'm gonna increase the saturation till I get a nice reddish color. And then the variation under here is controlled more within the actual tree texture itself. So if I double click on the tree and then open up the leaf texture of the tree, make sure that the usability options advanced control is checked on so that you have the seasons and more options available now i can even make it winter and this takes the leaf off the specific tree altogether which is perfect for a winter scene but let's add them back and then for color variation you can check this on and right now it's showing as pink so i can basically make this any other color and i want it to be a little bit lighter maybe a little less saturated and a little darker yeah something like that maybe a l yeah i know i'm happy with that so i'm gonna hit okay oh and let me adjust the grass too so it doesn't look nasty and so that's kind of similar to how i added the variation i'm just gonna click on this top grass texture and under overlay color here i went and i selected a kind of medium orange that's in the trees and I'm gonna hit OK and I'm gonna turn on this overlay intensity and set it set it a little bit higher so we get the grass looking a little bit more dead <laughs> it's not getting as much light so I'm gonna I'm happy with that so I'm gonna exit out I have more tutorials on my channel if you want to check them out. Please subscribe if you want to keep up with the latest tutorials. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.